be a lamp unto their feet, God, and a light unto their pathway. Father God, we'll look to you because you are God, and you're God all by yourself this morning. Father God, we thank you for these youth, oh God, because they are our future. Father, we thank you that you are God. You have made them the head today, God, and not the tail. They're above today, God, and not beneath, God. So, God, whatever you said in your word in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, you know the thought that you think towards our children, our youth. Oh, God, is to prosper them, God. And today, God, we are just giving you thanks, mighty God, for our future. The enemy will not steal our future. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We look to you, God, because you are their strength. You are their shield and butler. This morning, you said, God, you are the light over them. You guide them through the darkness, oh God. But we thank you, God, for intervening in their life. As the songwriter said, oh God, God, you reign. You reign, oh God. You reign, oh God. God upon your throne today, God. So you reign in our youth's life this morning. Father, reign in their life, so oh God. Reign in every suicidal thoughts. Reign in every disappointment. Reign in every depressing thought this morning. God, reign in their life, oh God. God, guide them through their endeavors, oh God. Yes, Lord. Father, remember our youth. As we say, we place them in your hands today, God. Yes, Lord. Father, you said we should cast our care into your hands, oh God, because you care for us. And so, God, we are casting our children, because they are our care, oh God, into your hands, God. Our youth, whether here or abroad, we cast them in your hands today, God. Yes, Lord. Because we care for them, and you care for them, God. So we thank you, God, for taking over their life, God. Let them realize that life is just just everyday living. They are special. Yes, Lord. They are special. They are the called one. You have called them to this time. Father, so we have to pour into them. So God, as we pour into them, pour into us that we can pour in the right thing in them. Oh, God. Oh, God. Father, God, we thank you. We thank you, God, that you are an unstoppable God. You are the unmovable God. You are the God who never fails. You are the God who is always on time. So, God, we place them in your hands. Yes, Lord. And to take control. Father, as we're about to celebrate our 25th anniversary, God, and the feast of XL, we need uh, acceleration the and breakthrough. Amen. Father God, we thank you, God, that you are working in us, God. And for us to get that breakthrough, oh God, we have to review and search ourselves, God. And we have to ask you for every corner of weakness, oh God. Everything that we struggle with in life, that you remove it from us, oh God. So we can get that breakthrough that we seek, oh God. Father God, we look to you, God, because we know there's no other way for us to look, oh God. So Father, reign in us, oh God, as we seek God, that acceleration, God, and that breakthrough, both for our, our membership, both for the entire church, our body, here and outdoors. Father, reign, oh God, so that we can release all oh, that burden that we take up with us, the church, and everyday life. Release it from us, God. Oh God, that we can get that breakthrough that we seek from you, God. Father, we thank you for your everlasting love upon your people. We thank you, God, that you are moving us up, Lord God. I understand right that we are going up. We are going up together. And so, Father, when we approach, oh God, your throne room, God, let us enter your throne room in oneness. Let us forget about what our sister said the other day, or what our brother said, and empty every negative thought that we can get what you have for us, God. That's the only way that we can receive from you, Jesus, when we empty, empty ourselves this morning. Father, we are in your presence this morning. Father God, as the word comes to us, oh God, 
We pray, mighty God, that your everlasting power of wisdom and understanding will resonate in us, oh God. That we can eat from your food this morning, God. That we can get that food, God, to nourish our body. Just as a natural food, if we don't eat, then we will look withered and tired and, and haggard. But Father, with your spiritual food, God, we are vibrant and ready to fight. And so God, give us that vigor this morning as we seek after you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we are a body, God, coming together in one cause, God. For one cause, God. So we ask you, oh God, to unite us where there's one limb limp, oh God. Help us to pull it up, God. Help us to pull it up, God. Because with that one limb, we're going to be on balance, oh God. So tonight, pull it up. This morning, pull it up, oh God. So we can be balanced, so oh God. Let's go. Father, thank you for our pastor. Continue to shower him, oh God, with your blessings. We are the protecting arms, oh God. Which can have strength this morning. Pour into him, oh God. Yes. Oh God, sometimes they look dismal. But God, give him the reassurance that you're with him. Ah, you never forsake him. You continue to elevate him to where you want him to be. So that he can lead your people to the path of righteousness. Yes. Remember, oh God, our, our second in command, Pastor West, this morning. Yes. Father, empower him, Jesus. Yes. Open the windows of heaven around him and his family this morning. Yes, Lord. And keep them, God, under your wings, God. Yes, Lord. So we thank you, God, and we go into today's worship. Touch the musician. Yes, Lord. Touch their fingers. Touch their mind. Oh, their minds, oh God. Yes, Touch them today, God. Hallelujah. Touch their heart. Hallelujah. Touch their soul. Oh, God. Hallelujah. So when they touch the keys, oh God, every music will come from people then. Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Touch our praise seat this morning. Yes, and they continue to shower and roof over us, oh God. Your blessings and anointing, God. Elevate our tone to come yes. as one this morning, Jesus. In your precious name. Continue to bless our congregation, God. Yes, Continue to breathe on every hill, every discouraged bed, every downfall, every bathtub setting, oh God. Breathe on them, oh God, and release it in your people's minds and souls. In Jesus' name, I give you a Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, our Father. Watch in heaven. All of it in thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
we'll have our congregational hymn, Victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. I heard an old story How a Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about his story Of his precious blood atoning Then I repented of my sins And won a victory
Our devotion of scripture reading by Sister Armani Thompson. We take it from Acts 1, reading from verses 1 to 40 days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, and he assembled together the men, reminded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but waiting for the promise of the Father, which said he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly before heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white armor. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room, where abode both Peter and James, and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon Zelotes, and Judas the brother of James. These all continue with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. And in those days, Peter stood, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, The number of names together were about 120. Men, Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Jesus. To the people of them that took Jesus. For he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity, and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst. And, and all his powers gushed out. 
and it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem. In so much as that field is called in their proper tongue, Akeldama, that is to say, the field of blood. Mm. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and let his Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. Beginning from the baptism of John unto the same day that he was taken of him. Must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. And they appoint and they appointed to Joseph called Barsabas, who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. And they prayed and said, Thou, Lord, which knowest the hearts of all men, show whether these two has chosen. That he may take part of this ministry and apostleship from which, from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. 26 and last, we'll read together. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven of we honor this portion of God's holy word by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, or without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have victory in Jesus, our Savior forever. He sought us and he bought us with his redeeming blood. He loved me when I didn't even know him. And all my love is due him. He plunged me through victory through his redeeming blood. Can we bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we bless the Lord? Can we give our God a wondrous praise? Hallelujah. Praise him with your hands. Praise him with your feet. Praise him with the fruit of your lips. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we had 10,000 tongues, it would not be enough. To bless the Lord, to give him all his due. Amen. Amen. We just joined with heaven this morning. Heaven is already crying, Holy, holy, holy. There's a Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Can we give him his glory today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all within me, bless his holy name. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall be shall be here that will be glad. Oh! 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 Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. about the goodness of Jesus. 
and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. It's not a cliche. Amen, but it's the truth. Thank God for saving me. Thank God for saving me. Has the same key this morning. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So glad to be back in the house of the Lord. One more time. Hallelujah. To give God all the praise, all the glory, all the honor that is due to his name. Amen. Amen. I'm also here to welcome everyone in the house of the Lord. We have some friends visiting with us this morning. We have Sister Karen over here to my right, to your left. Can you give her a hand? Sister Karen, so wonderful to see you. So good to see you. And then we also have another person. Can you stand and tell us your name and who invited you? Sister Yvonne, God bless you. Invited by Sister Denise. Your mom, Sister Karen. Oh, God bless you, Sister Yvonne. Mom, glad to have you. Thank you for worshiping with us today. So glad to have you. And we hope this will not be your last time. Amen. Amen. Come back and visit us again. Amen. Amen. As Bishop would say, that's your seat. <laughs> That's your seat. God bless you. God bless you. And we're so delighted to have Sister West and Mother Gordon. Give them a hand. So good to see them. We miss Pastor West. Amen. But we're so glad Sister West is here. Amen. They're one. So if she's here, he's here in spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Sister Gordon, God bless you. Sister West, and I think that's everyone, and give yourselves a hand. Amen. Amen. And listen, welcome the deacons, the musicians, the deaconesses, all of you wonderful saints. Amen. 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 God bless you. And let's welcome our social media. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You're at the button. But they're here, whether they're watching now or whether they're going to watch later. We're delighted to have them worshiping with us this morning. Amen. 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 God bless everyone. Sister Lee, the grandchildren, everyone, God bless you. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to now call Minister G. Foster to come and uh, do the offering. Um, but before she comes, I'm just going to go ahead and do the introduction of speaker, which is our own pastor, Andrew Edwards. Amen. 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 Can we give him a hand? Amen, amen. God bless you. Let's pray for him today. Let's pray for him today as he comes and breaks open the word of God. Amen. The entrance of thy word giveth light. Amen. We need the word of God. So as he comes, let's pray for him. Let's preach with him. Let's pray that God would just download a rhema word in his bill. It's already there. It's already there. It's already there. So let's pray that the word just comes forth today like rivers of living water. Amen. Amen. No holes barred. Let the word come forth. And we pray that the Holy Spirit would just overshadow him today and that he would be the oracle of God today and he would speak. Thus saith the Lord. So let's pray for him. Let's preach for him. Preach with him. Let set our cups out and receive from the Lord. God bless you, honey. Love you. God bless you. And we're going to call Minister G. Foster now to come and do our giving. God, for every one of you, it is just such a time to celebrate. 
We are embarking on our 25 years. Look what the Lord has done. Glory to God. And as I sat there and I pondered, I said, we could only make it by the grace of God. Amen. We could only weather the storm and meet our obligations by your giving. Amen. So you have been a big part of this. Amen. And I give God for every one of you. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. At this time, I come to uh, raise the day's tithe and offering. And I implore everyone to give. We have given out some instructions, I think, over two weeks ago. And I'm not going to repeat them. We all know what they are because we need money in this house. The word of God declared that we should bring the tithes and the offering in the house. Amen. Amen. So we can be in the house. So the needs of the house can be met. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And today I just want to implore everyone to give those on social media. We have many um, ways in which you can give. You can give via cell. You can give via cash app. You can mail a check in. Well, we implore you to partner with us as we embark on this 25 years. Glory to God. As we embark on this journey, as our journey continues, we need the help. Amen. Amen. We need the help. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So at this time, I'm going to ask you to raise up your feet and to hold your hand up with your, um, whatever your gift is, hold it up to the Lord. Hallelujah. As we ask his blessings. Amen. Because he, he commands us. He said, when you give. Amen. It's a command. When you give. Glory to God. So as we come to give back today, a portion of what the Lord has blessed us with, we expect his blessings. Amen. We come with anticipation. We come with expectation. Hallelujah. Because our God, he cannot lie. Hallelujah. He's not like man. Glory to God. He's, he will do what he says he will do. Glory to God. So let's believe him today. Glory to God. Amen. The Father, as we come before you today, Father, we just want to thank you for your steadfast love. We just want to thank you for your grace and your mercies. Father, we come in obedience to your word. You say, Lord God, we should bring in the tithes and the offering into your house so there is need and you will pour out blessings upon us. And so today, God, we come in obedience. We're not given sparingly, God. We're not given grudgingly. We're given willingly, my God. Because your word declared that you bless this. Oh, God, and you love a cheerful giver. So today, as your people stretch forth their hands, God, I pray that you will bless, oh God, their baskets, oh God. We pray, God, that they will not be in need. We pray as your people give today, God, that you will be healing. My yes, God, you said in your word that you will bless, oh God, our bread and our water. And yes, you will remove Lord. sickness from us. So as your people give today, God, those who are sick in our midst, we pray, God, that you will minister healing. Yes, mighty Lord. God, there are many needs in our house today. And so, God, as your people give, mighty God, you are not so concerned in your promise. Yes, my God, Lord. you will give up to them, God, press down, shake it together, and run it over, mighty yes, God. Lord. You will cause men to give into their bosom. Mighty God, we pray that as we give, mighty God, we will receive, oh God, yes, a harvest, God, a hundredfold, mighty God, yes, fold, whatever it is we desire today, God, as we give, mighty God, we look to you now, because you are the blessed mighty God, yes, and so we give to you, God, hallelujah, because we know you will give back to us, Father, have your way today with us, oh God, have your way, provide for those, God, who, oh God, are in need, oh mighty God, there are those who are in need of hope, Provide, mighty God. Lord, mighty God, Lord, there are those who are in need of a partner. Mighty God, provide. Yes, mighty God. Lord. Mighty God, provide, God. Cause our flocks and our baskets, oh God, to overflow. Oh, mighty God. Yes, pour out your blessings upon us, God. Take us to another level, God. Yes, Take us Lord. to another dimension, God. Through our giving, Lord Jesus. Father, as we look, God, for breakthrough and acceleration. Yes, mighty Lord. God, do it for us, God, we pray. Like only you can do it, mighty God. Oh, touch us individually. Yes, touch us collectively, we pray, God. As we say thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You may come on up with your giving. Starting from the back. Hallelujah. Come up through this island. Oh, the demon will break you up to give. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus.
So many people went to take a sleep and then they wake up this morning. So we are blessed to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is amazing. God is amazing. And so Amen. we're here just to lift up the name of Jesus because there is no other name deserve the praise but God. There is no other one deserve our worship. No other one deserve our praise but the Almighty God. Because Amen. He alone deserve the worship. Amen. Amen. And so when we come into the house of God, we come to give God praise. And it's probably to, it, it don't matter how you feel, but when you come into the house of God, you should come with a praise. You might feel bad in your spirit, you might feel down, but whenever time you enter the presence of God, it should be a different feeling. Because you're coming to give God praise. I mean, you're coming to lift up the name of Jesus. So. That should be something that in our mind that once you step in the presence of that's God, right, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's Everything should be changed. Yeah. In spite of what you feel, yeah. you should come with a worship. Yeah. Hallelujah. You should come with a praise and live to God. Because yeah. God deserves our praise. Yes, I was God. thinking about the goodness of God. I'm saying, God, you are so amazing, God. You are so amazing. Because when I look over my life, yeah. I will not be for you. I will not be here today. Yeah. I will not be here today. I will not be for the mercy of God. Yeah. So I said, God, I want to make sure I acknowledge you when I come into your presence. Yes. Oh, yes. Glory to God. And so this morning I give God praise for who he is. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for Thank your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Thank you. You're amazing, God. And so Thank bless you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is my desire. To honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship.
Sometimes I ask him to sing a while ago, I didn't know what to do. And I hear the Lord say, Does the Lord just worship? The song you want to I want to hear the song, I hear the Lord. Sing me worship. So this is not about me today. Thank you for 
this atmosphere, God, for taking us to this height in your presence. Hallelujah. Because in your presence, oh God, that's where joy is. In your presence there, that's where peace is. In your presence, that's where love is. In your presence, there is fullness. In your presence, oh God. That's what we desire to be. In your presence. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. It's not about us today, oh God. Hallelujah. We look to heaven today. And join with the angels and glorify your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Do something special and unusual in this house today, God. As our souls are thirsty for something new. As we are on this threshold. Oh God, we are the break. We are this transition inflection point. Oh God, we need a new touch from heaven. Hallelujah, we worship you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. That is due unto your name, oh God. Hallelujah, we stand, oh God, in your presence and obedience, oh God. Hallelujah. For what you're doing in this house, even now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we enter. We enter your gates. We enter. We enter your courts. We enter. We enter. Somebody stand up on your feet and give God praise. Let's not be a spectator in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, do something. Come on, expect something from God. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. something from us. Amen. It requires something from us. A sacrifice, a living sacrifice that is well pleasing unto him. Amen. A sacrifice that is well pleasing. A sacrifice of our lips, the praise of our lips that is well pleasing to him. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Greet everyone in your respectful places. Join with my wife. Amen. And greet you. Amen. Hallelujah. So good to have visitors with us. Sister Karen and her mother. I love your mother. Sister Yvonne. My mom's sake. Yeah, my mom's name. Sister Yvonne, we greet you in the name of Jesus. Welcome into the house of the Lord. Word of Faith and Praise Ministries, those on the social media. Um, West family, the absence of Pastor Kirk West, my assistant pastor here. Um, his family is here. We just salute them. We salute everyone, the leaders in your respectful places. Amen. As we are anticipating uh, another year, another breakthrough year. Amen. Somebody say acceleration and breakthrough. Somebody say acceleration and Blake breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a lot on this mic. Praise God. Uh, we have a new podium. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Put your hands. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. To us. Amen. On the, the instrumentation of my um, my mom, Yvonne Edwards. She saw the vision and she heard of what we wanted to do and she pitched in and helped so that we can push forward in um, helping hear the ministry. So we um, went ahead and order, and here we are today, amen. amen. Praise God, we enter into a new year, amen. amen. Praise, Praise God. God, hallelujah, God is good to us, yes, amen. amen, hallelujah, we, we can't complain, amen. amen, can't complain and we can't come down the wall, amen, amen, amen. people have a mind to build, and so we are continuing to build the kingdom of God as we continue to advance the kingdom of God. Jesus is upon this rock, I will what? Build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the living church. Amen. And so, I'm so delighted as we're going into our 25 years as uh, Minister G. So declared, and she's excited. She's on fire, working. Amen. We pray that we all will catch the fire. That's the vision, amen, as we continue to push forward and press forward in the ministry, as we celebrate 25 years, uh, making our bishop, our late bishop, Sidney Edwards, proud. He's standing in the corridors of heaven and looks down on us as we continue to press forward, amen, in the things of God, amen. Oh, I want to see him, Jesus, to look upon his face, dare to sing forever. Of his saving grace on the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Here's our past, home at last, ever to rejoice. That's the hope. Do you have that hope in you? Amen. Amen. Are we going to make heaven our home? Amen. Jesus is coming back for our prepared people. Amen. So we are in anticipation of his return. Somebody give God praise. Amen. We're in anticipation of his return. Let's just look to the word. I have something prepared, but I don't, I don't think that's where the Lord is, is leading. Amen. And I, uh, I sent for the text to be read, and I changed the screen of the Holy Spirit representing a dove and fire. Amen. Praise God. And uh, we want to um, allow the Holy Ghost. Uh, to the third person of the Trinity who God, through his Son Jesus Christ, has uh, asked the Father to send to us the Holy Spirit to, uh, to fill the church, fill us, to empower us, and to set us on blaze for the things of God. Amen? Praise God. So let's, let's look to the Word of God, Acts chapter 1. is a text that was read. Praise God. And um, it was read before you before, so I want to allow you to stand and read. But uh, let's look at a particular verse. Uh, Acts 
Father God, I thank you for your presence even now. Thank you for your Holy Spirit who is in charge of the church. Lord God, I pray that you let us stand here before your people one more time to present your word. We pray that you may bring unction, O oh God, bring utterance. We pray, Holy Spirit, as I stand before you, yield it uh, and surrender my soul, my, my life, my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is the reason of my reasonable service. I thank you, God, that I, you will speak through me, use me as your oracle, as your instrument to speak, thus said the Lord. We thank you for your word that is already anointed. We thank you. But you are even now anointing our ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has, wants to say to the church in this hour, in this season. Father, we bless you. We ask you that you may bring forward revelation, knowledge to your word as we open up your scriptures. Let your people be blessed. Let us be encouraged. Oh God, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise God. Text says, For the former treaties of I made. O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach. Amen. Uh, the writer, the author of this uh, book, Acts of the Apostles, is uh, no other than Luke, the great physician who traveled with Paul on his missionary journeys. Amen. And he, he penned the Acts of the Apostles. Um, so he is writing to Theophilus. Uh, if you look to Luke, in Luke's Gospel, the first chapter, he addressed the same person, O Theophilus, um, sharing what uh, Jesus had done while he was on the earth, his earthly ministry, uh, moving with the apostles. The Bible says that um, God called his disciples, through his son Jesus Christ, called his disciples unto him, himself, and he gave them power. He gave them authority there in Matthew's Gospel. Chapter 10, verse 1, and Luke, verse 9, and verse 1, call his disciples. And uh, this is the continuation of what the power that um, God had given his disciples, his apostles, to do and to teach the miracles. Uh, the acts of the apostles are the extension of the work and the miracles, the power demonstrating to the their known world because uh, Jesus had given them a commission to go into all the world and to preach this gospel so he has given them power he said empower them uh, he said you cannot do this on your own you need someone else so I'm going to go to my father and I'm going to Ask my father to send you uh, a help, a help, a help. And that's what the Holy Ghost is to the church. He is a comforter. He is our help. Yes, he is. He is our enabler yes. to live this Christian walk yes. and to be empowered mm. while we are living this Christian walk. Because we need more than just the everyday um, living mm -hmm. to survive and to thrive mm -hmm. in this world mm -hmm. and to accomplish the will of God. Amen. Amen. Um, the apostles are sent. They are deputized. They are unctionized mm -hmm. to, to carry out and to advance mm -hmm. the kingdom of God. So here we are in the text, um, Jesus is with his disciples before he's ascended into glory after his resurrection. Uh, he, meet, he met with them um, 
Mary, she went to the sepulchre and um, looked and it was empty. Uh, wondering where is Jesus? Amen. And sometimes we are wondering where is Jesus in our situation? Oh we cannot find him. We cannot see him. But he's right there. Yes, he is. The Bible said he himself appeared to them when the doors were closed. He appeared to them in Luke's Gospel, mm -hmm. chapter 24. He appeared to them after they were worried and wondering. This Jesus who began to do and to teach uh, has been crucified before us and, and it seems like all hope is gone. What are we going to do in this hour? Uh, but I'm so glad that he rose on the third day. So this is the third day. The third day. We are third day believers. He arose. The song says, out from the grave he arose. Yes. With a mighty triumph over, over his, foes. his foes. He arose the victor from the, from the dark domain. domain. And he lives forever with his saints, with his to, saints reign. to reign. So he appeared to them. Hallelujah. I said, Is there any meat in the house? They are worried and they're thinking that they see a spirit. They see this is a ghost. I just saw you died a couple of days ago. And here you are in the midst of us. Uh, this must be a spirit. It must be a ghost. This must be Casper the ghost. <laughs> uh, and Jesus says, no, this is not a ghost. I'm not a ghost. Um, I'm the same one. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come touch me. Look at me. My hands. See my hands. See my, my feet. See my side. Examine me. Uh, a spirit does not have flesh and bones. Praise God. Like you see me have. And he went on further and said, is there any meat in the house? Amen. Amen. Jesus loved to eat his fish, his snapper. Amen. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, honey and honeycomb. And he asked for more evidence to let him show, to reassure them that he's, it is he in the flesh. Amen. He has a new body. He picked up his body, his glorified body, and appeared out of nowhere. Amen. The doors are closed, and he, because of his, his power, hallelujah, that body that we shall pick up, we shall take off this corruptible and put on incorrupt, incorruptible, yeah, a celestial body that we will have. Those that are, are my dad who is dead and shall put on a new body, the hope of a church, amen, hallelujah, have a new body. So he came in the glorified state, amen, and amen. we assure them, say, uh, that the, the scriptures have taught about me, uh, the Psalms, the prophets, they have spoke about me, they are reassuring them and on, open up their understanding, and they commissioned them to go into all the world, amen, and preach forgiveness of sin, remission, that your sins can be forgiven. Amen. Praise God. And so you're going to need someone else to carry out that work. You're going to need the Holy Ghost. Someone say the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So here he is being assembled with them in verse 4. Together with them commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. I know this is out of the season, but it's really never out of the season speaking about the Holy Spirit. Uh, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, you have heard of me. For John truly baptized you with water unto repentance. But you shall be baptized. Somebody say baptized. Baptized. Uh, my wife said that you need to be drowned in it. <laughs> Don't take a dip. Be drowned in it. Amen. The word baptize means to, it's baptismal in the Greek, to submerge, go under, let it overflow you. Out of your belly shall you have rivers, Jesus says, rivers of living water. Amen. He promised, he said, I'm going to send you that promise. Amen. You have to position yourself to receive that promise. Amen. Because you're going to need him in the hour that you are facing. 
Amen. So that you'll be able to be overcomers. So you, that you may be victors and not victims. Amen. And so he positioned, gave him instruction not to leave Jerusalem, not to depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise. Somebody say, wait. Wait. Wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, you have heard of me, I've taught you. I've taught you these things. I do these things before you. I perform miracles before you. Um, because I was anointed by the Holy Ghost and with power. Amen. So I need you to be positioned so that you too can carry out the function in which I have demonstrated before you. The function that I have taught you. What he began to do and to teach. I want you to be an extension of that promise. Amen. So Acts of the Apostles are, uh, is the, the promise, the continuation of the, uh, the power that was demonstrated, that Jesus demonstrated in the earth through his apostles. Amen. Through you and I. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Not many days hence. Uh, in a time given, uh, God is specific with time, it's specific with the time that we are in, the season that we are in, the word time, kairos moment in the Greek, chronos moment, chronology, chronology, the chronos time on your watch. Uh, so he's talking about not many days answer. The disciple says, "Well, what time is it, God? What time is it, Lord? Is it time for you to?" Take over the, uh, the the kingdom of uh, the Roman kingdom and give give back the kingdom back to to Israel, right? Is that that time now? Um, he said, no, it's not that time. No, he didn't say no altogether. No, but he gave them and says put their attention to where he wants them to be positioned in. Amen. I want you to position. I want you to go to a place. I want you to go to a place and wait. Somebody say wait. Wait. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he will strengthen, strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. In order for you to be empowered by this Holy Ghost, you have to uh, go to a specific place. Follow the instruction that I have given you. And when you are there, somebody say when you are there, when you, are there. you will be empowered by this uh, Holy Ghost that I have demonstrated the power of God, that I have taught you with, that I have uh, fathomed the man, uh, amazed the mind of the Jews, and amazed the minds of the Pharisees, and amazed the minds of the Sadducees there. Uh, they saw him walk upon water. Miracles. They saw him open up the blinded eyes. They saw him unstop the deaf ears. What he began to do and teach, he, he operated in the power of God. Amen. And so he wants them to be a part of what he wants to accomplish in the earth. Yes. Yeah, it's not time for me to take over. But it's time for you to have power. Somebody says it's not time for him to take over. But it's time for you to have power. Uh, the power there means enablement. Means authority. Means dominion. Hallelujah. Somebody say dominion. Dominion. Hallelujah. So he gave them instruction. Uh, it is not for you to know the times. Kairos moment. Uh, the chronos time or season which the Father had put in his own power, but you shall receive power. Someone say, You shall receive power. You shall receive you power. You shall receive power. Hallelujah. He wants you to walk in power, he wants you to walk in the supernatural. Someone say, The supernatural. Supernatural. Hallelujah. He wants something more. We are on a threshold, we are on the brink. Of crossing over into something more than just church as usual. Amen. Praise God. 
So you have to position yourself. Amen. It's more than church as usual. We have walked in church as usual for 25 years. You are in a, your position. You're strategically positioned right now to receive something supernatural. Someone say something supernatural. Something supernatural. Someone supernatural. Hallelujah. To see the invisible. To hear the inaudible. To reach for the impossible. Amen. Praise God. You are positioned for that kind of a power. Somebody say, I'm positioned. I'm positioned position for that kind of a power. Kind of Hallelujah. Power. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So he positioned them. He says, you shall be witnesses of me when you receive this power. You are going to be able to take the city by force. You're going to be able to take uh, the nation by force. You're going to overturn the Roman Empire. Uh -huh. Praise God by force. Amen. Because of this power. Someone say because of this power. Because of this power. Ah, you are going to have authority in the earth. Amen. To do the impossible. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And that they did. The early church. Amen. Praise God. Peter and John, after the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up and started preaching. After he denied Jesus, the same G Peter who, the cousin Peter, that same Peter got transformed because he received something, hallelujah, on, uh, he received a supernatural, something unnatural, something uh, <laughs> Something came over him. Something came upon him. And something came within him. Mm. Amen. So I want to say it's within me. It's within, it's within me. me. It's within me. We talk about it's greater is he that is within me. Than he that, that is, is in the world. Oh my God. Hallelujah. He received power. He says, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Uh -huh. Amen. He's going to take over you. You're going to wear you like a coat. Amen. Praise God. You're going to put on. You're going to put him on. Hallelujah. You're going to put on the Holy Ghost. The power. You're going to put him on so you can function. Somebody say, I will function in the supernatural. Somebody say, it's time for the supernatural. It's time for miracles. It's time, it's time for signs. It's time for wonders. It says, these signs shall follow them. That what? Believe. Believe. They shall what? Cast out devils. Mark chapter 16. They shall what? Speak with new tongues. Amen. Lay hands on the sick. Your fresh tongue. Amen. New tongues is a sign for the believer. Amen. You shall. Hallelujah. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Somebody say it's time for the supernatural. It's time for the power of God to be demonstrated in your life. Oh, it's going to be demonstrated. We're talking about acceleration and breakthrough. It's time for acceleration and breakthrough. It's time for power. Somebody say it's time for power. Time for power. Too much, too long of church. As usual, we want to see something happen. We want to see the blind eyes open. open. We want to see deliverance. We want what Jesus began to do and teach is an action. The word acts, action, the action of the apostles. It's time for us to act in the power that God has given us to demonstrate. Hallelujah, what God has given us. The power. Somebody say power. power. Amen. I can't get up. I can't get over it. There's something about the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You transform your life. Transform your thinking. Transform. I was my wife was reminded me last night that I preached. And it's time to go get all this thinking, thinking. Amen. Transform your thinking. Transform your stinking thinking. Amen. Transform your life. My Lord. Turn you into a different person. Peter was turned into a different person. 
the day of Pentecost, he preached, and the Bible says 3,000 souls were added to the kingdom with one message that he preached. How could that be? But the Holy Ghost. Amen. The power of the Holy Ghost. You have something supernatural living in you. Hallelujah. He walks with you. He wants to ah, take over you. Take over your mind. Take over your will. Take over your emotions. Hallelujah. He wants to take over your body. He wants to take over your spirit, man. Hallelujah. Spirit, soul, and body. He wants all of you. Someone to say, He wants all of me. He wants all of you to be submerged in Him. So that you can move. In Him we move, Paul says. In Him we live. In Him we what? Have our being. Have our being. So they were positioned for the power of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. In the text, it says they went from there after Jesus had spoken to them. Bless the name of the Lord. And he ascended before them. He was taken up. The supernatural power of God. He demonstrated the power of God before their eyes. Not only that he came into a building that was shut, he ascended. Hallelujah. He gravity lost its hold upon him. And he ascended before their eyes. Uh, so uh, angelic activity started to happen. They started to gaze because this was a literal ascension. They're gazing to see what's going on. He's, the clouds came and took him. And he went away. Not to stay. But he's coming back again. Yeah, the angel said, this same Jesus that you saw ascended. He will come in like manner. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. The same Jesus. Somebody say, this same Jesus, same Jesus. is coming back again. Coming back again. In like manner. Praise the name of the Lord. He looked steadfast into heaven as he went up. Behold, two men in angelic activity stood by them in white apparel, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand gazing? It's not time to gaze. It's not time to be uh, wondering. It's not time to be wondering. W O N D E R, Wonder Woman. Or it's not time for you to be wondering, going astray. It's not time for you to be gazing. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. What time it is? Amen. It's time for you to position yourself. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Continue on. Hallelujah. Somebody say, press along, saints. Press along, press along in God's own way. My Lord. The hot of the battle, the sweet of the victory. My God. Praise the name of the Lord. The battle is going to get hot, but the Holy Ghost inside of you. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to make it sweeter. Amen. Somebody give God praise. Amen. So this Jesus which you saw taken up before your eyes shall come in like manner. As you have seen him go into heaven, then they return unto Jerusalem. They position because Jesus said, you have to stay in Jerusalem. Don't depart from Jerusalem. Amen. Stay. So all of the disciples, hallelujah, Peter, James, John, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James. 11 of them, son of Alvius, and Simon Zealots, and Judas, the brother of James. These all continued. Not only them, but those, the women that were with him. Ah, yeah. uh, so they went in one accord. Someone say, one accord. One accord. Not Honda Accord, but one accord. Ah, uh, they were in unity. Someone say, unity. Unity. Hallelujah. They're dwelling together. Breaking bread together, positioning themselves in prayer. Amen. Because they're positioning themselves for something supernatural to take over. Amen. Praise God. The Holy Ghost is coming. Uh, so they're going to wait for the promise. And waiting, they are praying. They are positioning themselves. They, they went the Sabbath day journey to Jerusalem, to the upper room. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Where Mary and Mary Magdalene, who Jesus who cast out seven devils out of her. Amen. She's with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Amen. Amen. With the brethren, with all his brothers. And the brothers and saints are there. The Bible says there were 120 of them all together in the upper room. Yes. Amen. In the upper room. On 5460 North State, where it's 7. Uh, Sweet 224 in the upper room. Oh my. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Waiting. Somebody say, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm anticipating. I'm anticipating. For something supernatural, something supernatural to happen. To Amen. Happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Something miraculous is about to happen. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Talk about it. Expectation is the breeding ground for what? Miracle. Your miracle. Something is about to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of expectation. Are you expecting anything today? Oh, no. Hallelujah. Are you anticipating something unusual? Amen. To move in the power of God. Someone say power. Power. Power is what they needed. And power is what they received. Uh, not many days hence, though, in the day of Pentecost was fully come. That's who we are as believers. Pentecostal believers. Fire. The Holy Ghost and fire. The Holy Ghost and power. Uh, you have something. Not something but someone. Hallelujah. Living inside of you. You have received him. Have you received him today? Do you need a fresh baptism or you need to revisit uh, Calvary? Receive, revisit the cross. Re revisit, make a revisitation. Hallelujah. The Bible said they were positioned. They prayed. They waited. They, they waited for the Holy Ghost to come. They were in anticipation. And it was the right season, the right time. Hallelujah. God doesn't make mistakes. No. He's a God of season. Yes. He's a God of timing. Yes. He's a God of purpose. Yes. He's a God of intention. Amen. Amen. He's a God of specificity. I said it. Lord, roll on my tongue. He's specific. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. You have to be at a specific place at a specific time. If you're not there, you will miss it. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So you have to be at a specific place at a specific time. Come next week, Friday. Amen. Praise God. This week. This week. Thank you. <laughs> Friday. Uh, celebration time. Amen. At a specific place at a specific time to have an experience with them. The supernatural. Somebody said the supernatural. The supernatural. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. They went and they did things in order because they realized that um, one was missing from the camp. Uh, Judas in the text. Before in the text, uh -huh. Judas. He, he, Peter had to do some business. Yeah. Right? Because mm -hmm. um, he was one of the chosen it was just 11 of them, the disciples, the apostles, and they chose Judas, their mystery. Jesus says, I've chosen you, and one of you is a devil. My God, Judas betrayed Jesus. And uh, the Bible says, because of his betrayal, he hung himself. And he went to his place. Uh, huh. My God. So they wanted to replace Judas. Because they want to bring back order to what Jesus has established. So Judas, they started to cast lots. And there were two names, two candidates that were there. They appointed two, verse 23, Joseph called Barsabbas, 
was surnamed Justice and Matthias. They prayed and they asked God for direction. Who should we choose? Uh -huh. Amen. To take up this part. And I was in meditation this morning meditating about the ministry of which they received as the apostles, the apostleship and ministry in which God has given them. They want someone to carry on what God has selected them to do. The apostleship, the ministry. The Lord fell on Matthias to carry on the ministry, to carry on the work. Someone said the work. The work. Amen. We have a work to do. Amen. We have a work to carry on. We have a ministry to carry on. We have the apostleship, the apostles. We are an extension of the apostles. Amen. So that's why it was important for them to choose someone to carry on. Hallelujah. The ministry that God has set up to his son Jesus Christ. Upon this rock I will build my church. Ecclesia. We are called out of the world. Right? So the lot fell on Matthias to carry on the ministry. We have to carry on. Someone said we have to carry on. We have to carry on. We can't die now. No. We have come too far. Amen. 25 years. Amen. Need someone to carry on the ministry. The ministry, the apostleship, the apostolic work. Uh, Jesus himself through Paul that says in Ephesians 4 that Jesus descended, went to the lower parts, and he ascended and he gave gifts to man. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And this is what we are carrying on. Mm -hmm. This is nothing on this is nothing nothing common. There's nothing common about ministry. Mm -hmm. There's nothing common about the work that we're doing. Mm -hmm. It takes the Holy Spirit. To position you and I. You are positioned in a place where you are. God has intended for you to be where you are. At the time that you are living in right now. You are on purpose. You are here on purpose. There's a function for you to carry out. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Acts chapter 13. I believe. There were certain prophets and pastors, teachers, prophets and teachers. It says here. Who sought, and there was uh, Saul and Barnabas. Huh? Chapter 13. Amen. Position themselves to hear from God. Because there's a work that is needed to be carried on. There's a work. Somebody said there's a work. There's a work. There's a work to do. There's a work to do. We have work to do. Someone said we have work to do. There are people dying and going to hell. Huh? And we have to stop them. Amen. Stop them in their tracks. So the Bible says they gathered themselves and they fasted and they prayed. They ministered unto the Lord, mm. right, for direction. Man, we're in a 21-day fast, and so we are certain things are coming up on the surface. Hallelujah. We uh, we fast because we want direction. Someone said we want direction. We want direction. We want to extend. We want the extension of the work to carry on. Mm. The apostles' work, the apostles' doctrine, to carry on. Bless the name of the Lord. Mm. So the Bible says they position themselves, they pray, they fast, and they minister to the Lord. Mm. And then the Holy Ghost said, mm. someone said the Holy Ghost said. The Holy Ghost said. Is the Holy Ghost still speaking in the church today? Absolutely. 
Amen. Do you have an ear to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying in this hour? Hallelujah. What is he saying right now? Where you are positioned? What is your role in the body of Christ? What is your role in the church? Amen. What is your position? Hallelujah. Are you seeking God to hear direction and instruction? How you should fulfill the call that is upon your life. Amen. They position themselves. Uh, the Holy Ghost fell. And they are waiting on the Holy Spirit to give them direction. The Bible says that they, after they prayed, after they fasted, the Holy Ghost spoke. said, separate me, Paul and Barnabas, for the work. Somebody say work. It's time to work. It's not time for gazing. It's not time for wandering. It's not time for wondering. But it's time for you to position yourself in the body of Christ. Fulfill the work that God has set you out to do. Find something to do and fulfill. Hallelujah. The task that God has given to you. Amen. Amen. The, the Holy Ghost is not going to get it but by you um, uh, making up something, right? But you have to seek God. You have to seek Him, right? Jesus says, Ask and it shall be received. Receive, you shall receive, be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. You are seeking something. You have to seek your role, seek your position. Uh, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Yeah. You want the Holy Spirit to give you direction, to give you instruction how to function in the body of Christ. Somebody say, I have a work to do. I have a work to do. Separate me, Paul and Barnabas, for the work. Hallelujah. Everyone has been given a gift, given something to do to advance the kingdom of God. Are you receiving this today? Oh and I know I'm not screaming and preaching at you, but I'm teaching you. Hallelujah. As we go into the 25 year, as we go into another threshold, this is a silver year. Not many ministries are around today. So we have to find the reason why we exist. Find our function and move in that function. Amen. Being empowered by the Spirit of God. Uh, you have to see the reason why you're coming, the reason why you're praising, the reason why you're giving. It's intentional. You're not just giving to something here. You are part of something great. You are part of the apostles, the continuation of the word of God, the acts of the apostles. Amen. Amen. You are part of the ministry. Someone say ministry. ministry. A part of the apostleship. Mm. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So God wants us to find our place, hallelujah, and function and operate in that place. Yeah. And all you're going to do is you fast and pray, you wait on the Lord, and then the Holy Spirit will show up. Amen. Amen. When you're positioned in the rightful place, you're positioned in your rightful place, the Holy Spirit will show up and give you the answer that you need, yeah. what direction you should go. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Bible said they, they sent Paul and Barnabas out mm. to work. And here we are today as a result of that work Amen. because of two men that were sent by the Holy Spirit mm. to mission on a mission. The Bible says he did three missionary journeys all across Asia Minor, yeah. evangelizing that whole place, Turkey, Greece, mm. right? Hallelujah. The gospel was spread throughout the world. And as a result, you and I have come into this gospel. Amen. The Gentile world is now a part of this gospel. You will hear this gospel. Uh, Paul says, I am not ashamed of this gospel. For it is the power of God unto salvation. salvation. Amen. Yes. Amen. To the Jew and to the Greek. Amen. So we have heard this gospel and we are moving with this gospel. 
Somebody say, I'm an extension, I'm an extension of, the of the Acts of the Apostle. Amen. You have to know the reason why you are living. A purpose. Someone say, I have purpose. I have purpose. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. 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 Thank the Lord. A purpose of a role to fulfill. Amen. Amen. And the Holy Spirit is going to give you, unctionize you. Yeah. Right? The anointing that you have received abides with you. Holy Ghost that you have received abides with you and he teaches you all things. Mm -hmm. 1 John 2 20. You have an unction. Someone say, have an unction. Have an unction. Have an unction to function. Have an unction to function. Amen. Function in your role. Yes. Find your role. Yeah. Find your position. Yeah. It's time for you to find your position yeah. and operate in that position. Mm -hmm. Amen. No. The reason why you're seated in the kingdom of God mm. and operate in that function. Mm. Amen. Search yourself today. Let's just stand on your feet. Amen. Amen. 30. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The song says, Search me, O Lord. Mm. Yeah. Know my thoughts, I pray. Yeah. See if there be yeah. any wicked ways in me. Mm. Cleanse me Remember from every sin, sin. and set, and me, set free. me free. Hallelujah. Let's search ourselves today as we are about to go into this week. Amen. Praise God. We are having um, uh, a lot of uh, uh, things are in motion to uh, position ourselves in anticipation of what we're going to celebrate this week. And we want everyone to be a part of that. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We have guests coming in from even George, if someone booked their ticket just to come and see me, to sit down with me, to have lunch and leave the next day. That's how important this is. Amen? Amen. Apostleship. Amen? Amen? Praise the name of the Lord. So this is something, you are part of something great. Mm. Amen. Jesus is coming back again. Mm. And he wants us to have uh, an answer to our faith. He wants us to bring, put our crowns before him. Yes, he does. Amen. If we're not working to get a crown, you know, we have to work. Paul says, I fought the fight. I finished my course. And what is laid up for me? A crown of righteousness. Amen. We are working. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not for me, for me only for those who love his appearing. Right? For you and I. Amen. Amen. Jesus Amen. is coming back. Yes. Amen. He's coming back for a prepared people. Mm. Hallelujah. A prepared church. Amen. Amen. Someone has been working, moving. And he wants to. He wants. He wants evidence. He wants something. You have to show something. That you have uh, put in the, the time and you're going to job. Amen. Uh, uh, your, your boss is looking for a report. Right? Wants to see that you have accomplished something the other day. Amen. You're giving a task, a daily task for you to accomplish. Amen. You want to see that that has been accomplished. Amen. You don't want to be ashamed and says, I was sleeping on the job. So you're not going to get paid. <laughs> help us not to be sleeping. Amen. Jesus. But help us to be working. Amen. Amen. Help us to be busy for the king. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Search me. Oh God. And know my heart. I pray. Try me, O oh Savior. Try me, O oh Savior. Know my heart. Know my heart, I pray. See if there be some way can in me. Cleanse me from every sin. Cleanse me 
from every sin and set me free. Holy Ghost, I can't find it. Oh, Holy Ghost, revival. Revival comes from me. Send down the revival. Send down revival. Start what? Start the work in me. That word declare. That word declare. Supply my need. Oh, cleanse me now. Oh, cleanse me now. Oh, Lord. I humbly please search me, O oh God. Search me. Turn the searchlight on us, I know, know my heart. I pray. Try me, try me, O oh Savior. Know my thoughts, know my thoughts. I pray, see if there, see, see if there, there be some wicked, some wicked, some wicked way in me. Cleanse me from every sin. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. Hallelujah, you have to be free in order to set somebody else free. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And so that's the work that He wants to do in us. Amen. Amen. He wants us to cleanse ourselves. Amen. Prepare ourselves. Sanctify yourself. Amen. The scripture says, the God of peace, what? Sanctify you holy. holy. Spirit. Soul, soul and body. body. Amen. And be blameless unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He's coming back again for our prepared people. Amen. So he wants us to be ready. Somebody say, I need to be ready. I need to be ready. We need to be ready. Amen. What time is it? Time to get ready. Time to be ready. Amen. As this God, he wants you to have power. For those who are watching, for those who are here, and if you not sure if you're not sure if you're ready to meet the Lord and Lord Jesus Christ when he puts in his appearance or even if you should die tomorrow or die tonight amen you are ready to meet him hallelujah the Bible says for faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God amen with the heart man believe it unto righteousness with a mouth, confession is made unto salvation. salvation. Hallelujah. We are I preach this gospel so that you can believe. There are two types of people that are in a church in the world after hearing this gospel. Those who believe and are baptized, they are saved. Those who believe not, they are damned. Hallelujah. Those who believe and are saved are going to heaven. Those who hear and believe not are going to hell. Amen. Praise God. There are two places where you will spend eternity. Amen. Hallelujah. If you hear my voice today and the Spirit of God is speaking to your heart, that you need to uh, give Him your heart today. Hallelujah. Heart, not your heart. You may respond to him by simply saying, Father, yes, I have sinned Absolutely. and come short, short of your glory. glory. I, ask you I ask you to cleanse me, cleanse me and, forgive me and forgive me of all my sins. All my sins. Wash, me Wash me in your blood, in your blood. that you shed on Calvary's hill over 2,000 years ago. Years ago. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cause me now, Cause me now. Hallelujah, to come into your kingdom, come into your kingdom. and operate uh -huh. and to function in uh, my role. And my role. Hallelujah. If you prayed in that prayer today, we know that you are saved. Hallelujah. On your way to heaven, you believe this gospel. Hallelujah. You shall be saved. 
We encourage you to be baptized. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We talk about baptism. Hallelujah. We submerge on the water. Display to the world that you have turned your backs against the world and the devil. Amen. 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 Praise God. And you're on your way to heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Clap your hands and give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. So good to have those on social media who have joined us today. We want you to join us on this Friday at 7.30. We're having a banquet here in this place. We're transforming this hall. Amen. We're going to come out dressed up, ready to celebrate. Some guests coming in, amen, to entertain, amen, as we celebrate uh, our 25 years, Sunday morning and Sunday evening. We have uh, Pastor Luca Miller from Soul Winners Ministry. So I want you to invite some of your unsaved loved ones to those services, amen. If you're out there and you want to find our address, the uh, Information is on the screen. There are ways to find this place. Something miraculous is about to happen. Somebody give God praise. Somebody say anticipation for acceleration, for breakthrough, the power of God. He's going to move in this city. We shall receive power. Somebody say, I shall receive power to be witnesses in the city. Amen. Hallelujah. Julia, Samara, the uttermost part of the world, wherever you go, a lot of help. Amen. Plantation, Sunrise, Coconut Creek, Coral Springs, wherever you live, hallelujah. You have been received, you have received power. Somebody have received power. You receive something today. Somebody stand up with your feet and clap your hands and give God praise. Praise Amen. the Lord. Very simple instruction that the Lord has given us today through this word. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The offering is already taken up. You know where we are. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're still on the air for those who are um, where we need to be. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We are $999. We're on the brink. <laughs> and 50 cents. We're on the brink. So we want to cross over the brink. Amen. Nine, the number of birthing. We want to cross over to the thousand. Alright, so if you are here and you want to sell, if you want to sell, um, give an additional, you have a goal that we want to meet on a given Sunday. We are way below that goal. Um, our goal is what, 25, 25, at least, 20, at most 25, not at least, at most 2,500 per week. All right, so if you're out there, if you're here, and you want to help us to reach another $1,000, that's where we need to be to cover our expenses here. Amen. You can, uh, you can use those uh, that is available, the platform that is available to you. Uh, I know these days, um, not many people are carrying uh, live cash, liquid cash with them, but they, they can Zelle. We have a Zelle information on the screen. We have... Uh, Cash up, and we have PayPal. Whatever means you can use, you can use all the banking information that's there. Um, if you're here and you want your check, you still do check and cash. We need to, need to, um, we need to get to a uh, uh, desired goal, financial goal. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Come with our buckets if we have a bucket here. So some folks are still digging in their pockets. I want to give um, the liquid cash. Um, praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. We're still in church. Amen. Praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. We're anticipating great things in the house. Amen. So we have to position ourselves. I'll go around. Just go around. If someone has cash, extra cash, and you can do that right now. We just dismiss the social media platform at this time. Join us. We are going to be live on, on the social media platform Friday, Sunday morning, Sunday evening. Uh, you can join us, those who are absent from us. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You're selling, you're giving some folks over here. Have some cash. Amen. The little that you give, amen, it means a lot. 
Amen. God will multiply it. Amen. He has been multiplying it all these years. Amen. And will continue to do so. Amen. Amen. So we can fulfill our God-given purpose. Amen. Amen. In the earth. Amen. Amen. Stand up on your feet. We are dismissed. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for putting up with us for 25 years. Clap your hands and give yourself a hand. For those who are part of this ministry.